Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Peace, family. Southern Knights, back at you with another video. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on with everybody. But we're going to have a little talk about what's been going on lately. I mean, it ain't too much really happening as far as so-called geopolitics or whatnot. But I kind of fell back from the scene a little bit to see what's going on or see what was going to take place because I feel like I put in enough information about particularly what's going on in Russia and Ukraine, particularly the whole conflict, and sit back and just to see what take place. But <clears throat> as for right now, seem like it's just a bunch of saber rattling, uh, propaganda war. It, so it, it's a bunch of stuff that's really going on with that right now. And I could get into a few of it, meaning that when Russia pulled its troops out, now next thing you know, that was like a chess move for Putin because he showed that he was pulling the troops out. But at the same time, the United States had to make it seem like that was not it or that wasn't true. So when he did it, he kind of delayed the so-called attack on Ukraine, which I think it was going to be a false flag that probably would have been blamed on Russia. And by him doing that, pulling his troops out, there was kind of chess move on his behalf to let him know that anything happened due to the propaganda or the false flag, he don't have nothing to do with it. So now when that happened, they turned around and said, all of a sudden it's a, a so-called um, cyber attack. So yeah, it, it, it's a lot of propaganda being thrown around to keep this really going to keep this question mark over the people, whether, and I think it's going to be happening all the way up to at this point. I don't, I don't think Russia is going to evade Ukraine. I don't, I don't really think so at this particular time, because I think now what I'm seeing, and I can see stuff very rare when it comes down to these politics, because the years I get older, this stuff become pretty obvious to me. It's like, I don't really have to look too much into it to not to know what each side or a particular person is doing. It's like second in nature to me. So what I think is going on now, it's going to be a bunch of talks. What if Putin invade Ukraine? Is you Putin going to invade Ukraine? How's Putin going to invade if he invades? So you're going to see a bunch of these stories coming out just to, just so the next situation to come along, because I truly believe that mainstream media ran out of the whole Democrat and Republic, Republican debacle, and they done ran this course on that until another situation coming out comes out dealing with Democrat and Republicans. So that's my take on it. That's why I see what's going on right now. Now, I'm not saying that whatever going on over there is not off the table because um, either Ukraine, Russia, NATO, whatever, whoever the case may be, whoever part is that's involved may do something that provoke Russia to attack. You see what I'm saying? Or vice versa, who, who have it, have it, wherever the chips fall at. And now that I got that situation out of the way, it have been an article that came out and a couple of news people done spoke on this. The Russia and Ukraine situation done already, have already started affecting the pockets of Americans, meaning at the gas pump, at the food stores, 
So they already saying that, which I already done told y'all this like almost two weeks ago when I first started this. I told you this situation is going to start affecting your pockets. And this is why I think that it really shows that because I think this situation, if nothing don't pop off over there, I think that situation is only going to be used as an excuse to put on and people are going to be wondering why, well, why inflation going up? And this is going to be the go-to topic. Well, the Russia Ukraine situation is the reason why gas going up but why the inflation going up. So now they trying to put it off on that when that situation happened way before the Russian Ukraine situation. Don't try to pull that move. Nah, sir. No, the gas was already going up when it was something. No, about two months when Biden got in the office, the gas was going up. Trump had it down to one ninety five a gallon. As soon as he stepped in office, the gas started immediately going up when he started doing his reversals. Because you got to realize it's a gamble when it comes down to the stock market. It's investments that goes on. So certain people don't invest in certain things. So that's what y'all need to look out for. But I'm not about to make this video too long. I just want to put that out there that y'all might need to you know, look at the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Just be on the lookout. I keep y'all updated and I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right. Peace.